All right, this is our week one of the Edison project. We're welding up the rear section before we even worry about the body. This way we essentially have an independent system that could drive by itself. Thanks for your welding, Chris. Battery go here. Hi. So my senior metal class is doing the go-kart electric Edison challenge in whatever order you might say that. I've got students drawing things up and we have a big binder to organize things. And today we worked on making the back end that is gonna be holding the axle, battery and something else. We've left lots of room. We plan on adding shocks as well. Shocks in the back are cool, but shocks in the front are cooler. We're sketching up ideas for how to do control arms and some kind of linkage and stuff and things so that this thing can go off-road. The front end is going to be similarly modeled after this old ATV frame so kids can get an idea of geometry and how control arms, swing arms, I don't know, whatever these things are called, however those work. Every time we do a design on paper, our final ones are going to go into AutoCAD so that we can get our rough angles and figure things out and plus another year we'll be able to see what we've done. Today we had students cut and weld up those pieces and because we had them nicely drawn out, it took a lot of the guesswork out of doing it in real material. Our back end here, we're going to be having brackets. That's going to act basically like hinges to go to where you're going to be sitting here. This is going to leave room for the battery box and however we decide to hide this crazy mess of cables. This is set up the same way that I would do a live axle go-kart using pillow blocks directly clamped to the frame. All the live axle go-karts that I've done, we do a very similar setup. I like to do wheels that can bolt onto a hub, onto a keyed axle, but we use pillow blocks and that'll just attach the frame. So that's why we did our design similar to that. Do what you know. Each of these were cut at roughly 22 degrees and we knew there was gonna be a little bit of fitment because these black brackets here that are attached right to there were actually welded on by you know, two to three degrees off. So we had to do some sneakiness to overcome that. So we've got a big box of parts that we still have yet to worry about. We're just gonna work on one section at a time of the go-kart system. As we play with this project, we take notes. How do we change gears? Well, there's a key that goes in a thing. I guess where I keep that key. Under lock and key. I keep my backups here with these other types of unrelated keys. So that's just update video one for the go-kart electric Addison, Edison go-kart electric challenge, whatever. Stay tuned.